Well, uh, now we're at right at the end. You've had all the questions. And so it's time for you two to give us your closing statements. And we do that in the reverse order of the opening statements. So Mr. Monica, if you'd like to talk to us, you have two minutes. You got it. Well, the reason why uh, the community should vote for me is because of the new ideas I'm going to bring and actually work with the community as compared to um, the task force, speed up in the office, and so forth. You, you need a sheriff that actually will come out and talk to you, that will listen, and uh, not just every so often, but continuously have uh, town hall meetings so that you can bring your concerns. Also, take the time out myself to wear the uniform and go out and patrol with the officers or the deputies and see what's going on because how can the sheriff make an informed decision if they're not out there? Those are the things that I would be doing. Um, you know, looking at all the areas where there might be gang activity. Well, what other type of crimes are concerning to you and your area? That's where I want to come and talk to you. I don't want to say, you got a gang problem? I'm going to be there and do the gang stuff. I'm going to go and talk to you and find out and listen what your problem is. It might not be gangs. It might be graffiti. It might be kids running around. Those type of activities, then we can work as a team to slow it down, either by talking with schools, parents, and so forth. But to always rush to one type of criminal activity is incorrect. We need to look at everything. We look at the whole pie, not part of the pie. And, and that's where, just like when that lady I found walking around, instead of waiting until she's at a, at a critical stage, you go out and you try to find out what's going on. That's what we need to do. And, and if we don't go forward with that, um, we're gonna stay the same as we are now, giving millions and millions of dollars into the sheriff's department and getting one out of it, nothing. There's a lot the sheriff's departments can do, a lot. It's not being done, it hasn't been done, and the time's now. The only way to do that is to vote for Martin, Monica, to make that change. Um, I mean, read my letter, read the letter from my um, former city manager, and he details. I'm the only one that has a letter from the city manager about my performance. The current sheriff does it, and, and Rich does it. So I have some type of documentation to show what I'm about and what I have done and what I look at. I encourage you to read it. Thank you. I'm endorsed by the San Jose Mayor. I'm also endorsed by the Sunnyvale Police Public Safety Officers Association, Mountain View, the National Latino Peace Officers Association, the County Employee Management Association, so the bosses in the county agree there's a need for a change. I'm also endorsed by the Chief of Police of Los Al the uh, Foothill De Anza College, as well as their Peace Officers Association, and a whole list of others. I've got them there for you. Now with this, I've already said, and it is going to be a priority for me to establish a countywide gang task force to reduce criminal activity and also cut costs that are happening. Basically, you're paying for the, uh, the incarceration. I'm going to be accountable, but that means I'm also going to make changes. There are several that have been mentioned by Mark Monica, and I have to agree, but there are others. As I've begun to evaluate the sheriff's department, it's very top heavy. Another sheriff, two assistant sheriffs that were previously commanders, they've been elevated to assistant sheriffs, so they're getting paid more money. There are 15 captains with 16 lieutenants. That is way too many captains, much too many captains. There's going to be an evaluation of that. There's going to be a review of the work that the captains are engaging or not engaging in. And there's going to be a change with this as well. Take home cars for there are some staff who are taking vehicles to other counties to be home. If officers or deputies are not responding to a critical incident in the middle of the night, there is no need for people to be traveling into another county with a take-home car. With this as well, there are many mistakes that have been made, like the De Anza rape case, where the investigators, crime scene unit, did not go out until 12 to 14 hours later. And those are mistakes made because of the lack of experience on the part of the incumbent. She was never an investigative sergeant, and therefore, the mistakes are made. Well, I'd like to thank the candidates for taking part in this forum tonight. Um, this show will be aired on um, uh, KMTV, and I hope that the
times will be listed on SmartVoter before too soon. Um, I want to also take time to thank the volunteers. It takes quite a few people to get an event like this put together. And um, Gabriel Tiemann and Marilyn Turman were the greeters and the card handlers. Crown and Billick and Coeda Chambers have been sorting all of our questions. Um, Joan Papillon and Lois Rosenblum um, were our timers. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, um, Mr. Calderon, for <laughs> contributing <laughs> some, your, your phone. Um, Minette Diamond <laughs> made the candidate sign. And last but not least, I'd really like to thank um, Naomi Alpert. She put this whole event together for us. So, League of Women Voters for Los Altos, Mountain View, Palo Alto, the American Association of University Women, KMTV, the Los Altos Library, and the Media Center. I thank you for your attention and your good questions, and um, I urge you to check out Smart Voter, and if you're interested, join the League of Women Voters. Thanks. <laughs>